Alright, hi guys, it's Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have my little contour and highlighting 101. Oh my god, it I don't know why I just did that. That was so weird. I take two. <laughs> hi guys, it's Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have this uh contouring 101 video for you guys. I never really go into depth with um my highlight or my contour, I just basically tell, I just say contour because, you know, in my mind, I already know how to do that and sometimes I think that other people know how to as well, which isn't the case and that's the reason that I do tutorials. So, um, that's what this video is right now. I'm just going to explain as much as I can and how I personally do my own contour and that may not be the same for everyone and may not work for everyone, but this is how I do mine. I do have a... I do have a pretty... It's like an oval heart-shaped square face. I have like a bunch of different face shapes mixed into one. The thing to keep in mind when contouring and highlighting is that you need to find out what works for your own facial structure because it is not the same for every single face. There's different things that you need to do for round faces and oval faces and square faces and all of that stuff and I have a bunch mixed into one basically but if I had to pick one I'd say it's a little more heart shaped but just find out what works for you practice it as much as you can and this video is just everything that I can put into words about how to contour and um, I say this later in my video but it literally just takes practice I promise you guys it's all about practicing your contour. You're not going to get it in the first time. Trust me, it took me so many times to learn how to contour. And I'm still not that great at it. Um, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy and, of course, like and subscribe. And um, let's just get back into this video. Bye. So I'm starting with a full face of foundation just for the sake of this video. I didn't want to keep it too long or anything. So this is something that you might do for a a bigger event or occasion or something like that because um, it can be a little harsh for day to day wear but if that is what you like then you do you. I'm just going to explain contouring really quick because some people might not know what contouring is. I'm just going to explain it um, into a little more detail than normal. So what contouring does is it will cast a shadow wherever you want something to appear smaller. So for instance, when contouring below your cheekbone, you're trying to make this part look like a natural shadow, which of course it's not going to look too natural while it's makeup, but you're trying to make this look like a shadow right here, and that will make your cheekbone stand out a little more, so you're basically just carving your face a little more. I know it's a crazy makeup trick, but it's so cool and it's so much fun, and it's awesome that you can make your face do that. <laughs> Sorry I keep looking over here, I'm trying to make sure that my um, camera is still recording because sometimes it's stupid. Uh, basically the places that you do that are underneath your cheekbones and then on the sides of your head if you have a larger forehead. So don't always do that if you have a small forehead because um, then you're just making it look even smaller because you're casting that natural, natural shadow. It's basically the opposite for highlighting. So when you highlight or put um, lighter makeup on an area, area, make that stand out more. So you're drawing attention to that. That's why we do it on the top right here so that it makes that pop right when you do the contour right under here. I'm going to be using this NYX Wonder Stick and it's just a duo with a contour on one side and a highlight on the other. So what I always do is, is I start from the top of my ear, right here, and you will be just drawing, you will just be drawing a line straight down from the top of your ear to where it meets the face right here. And then I only go, I normally only go in to about right at the end of my eye, where the end of my eye meets. And I'm just drawing a pretty thin line because when you blend it out, it will expand a little more. Also, another thing that you can do is you can just feel where your cheekbone is. I can't do it just because I put that contour on, but 
Feel where your cheekbone is and you should be able to feel the hollow right underneath your cheekbone and that's exactly where you want to be putting this contour. And then I'm, since I, I mean my forehead's not extremely large or anything but I do want to cast a little bit of a shadow so I'll be dry. And then I stop that line, do it right on my temples in the middle here. I don't do a continuous line just because I don't like how that blends out. Underneath the jaw. So taking a damp beauty blender, um, I use a pur my purple one is for my contour specifically just because I want to make sure that I don't have any like brown on my beauty blender when I do my foundation. So I have a specific one, but that's not necessary at all. Simply what you're going to be doing is it's easiest if you do it with a beauty blender in my preference. That might not work for everyone, but I'm just going to be patting this out and this process may take a while do not rush through it because you do not want your contour to look muddy or messy and if you take your time on it that's when it will look its best so make sure that i'm literally just patting it in to my skin and i'm not rubbing do not do rubbing motions but if you're going to be looking for any sort of motion to do, do a quick patting motion. And I sort of, I don't swipe it up, but I pat it up into my cheekbone so I can feel this beauty blender hitting my cheekbone right there. We'll tend to think that cream contouring will be harsher but when it comes down to it a lot of the times depending on what you're what products you're using a cream contour really isn't very harsh and that's why sometimes I like to go over it and basically just set it with a powder contour because I like how it gives me that nice chiseled finish. Well, I'm doing this really out of order. Normally I should go highlight then contour, but what can you know? What I'm going to be doing is I'm drawing these lines, and a lot of people do a downward triangle. You want to elongate. You want the lightest parts of your face to be right here. So you're going to be putting that right there. So yeah, I did this really out of order, but no worries since we haven't done the cream con or since we haven't done the powder contour yet, it's fixable. I just do the longest lines here and then I start to make my lines a little bit smaller once I get here. Just and the lines will help you to regulate your um, concealer if you don't want it too heavy. So um, then what I'm going to be doing is I'm putting the highlight again everywhere that I want to stand out. So the center of my forehead is really important because that's where people, um, it's a big part of your face right here is the center of your forehead. And you want to make that bright just because you have this darkness on the edges of your face. You want that to be a little more bright. So I put my concealer there, which by the way, you want your concealer to be a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone just to bring out that brightness. And then down the bridge of your nose, don't take it down the sides because you do not. That's a place where you would normally want to contour. But you put that down the bridge of your nose just to make sure that that part stays highlighted there since it is the top point of your face. And then on your cupid's bow and on your chin, this is the rule. It should be like a heart right here. This is where all stays light. And that's a really good um, rule of thumb to go by. Do the heart and make sure that everything in this heart from right here, and then going down the corners of your eyes to meet in the center of your chin, make sure that is all light. That is what you want to stay light. So um, today I'm going to be taking, I've used this in a video already, but I'm going to, I really like this palette. It was great. This is the Lorac Pro Contour Kit. Um, not a lot of people use it because, you know, a lot of people are into um, the Anastasia palette, which that's great too. I like that as well. I've tried it. I don't have it myself, but I've tried it from people who do have it and I like it too. But I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques contour brush. I use this every time to contour because I love how it gives me a chiseled look. 
and basically I'm ugh, it's so hard to explain contour because it's so easy yet it's so hard what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be running over that and I think I and I think I like went in not into detail about this but I mentioned the surface of it I'm running my brush really lightly and I'm sort of doing I don't just draw a straight line I think that that may have been confusing in my last video I think I said I lightly draw a slight a uh, straight line which is not what I do at all I just use little feather motions basically and I draw my line down to the same place that I said and then I'll sort of do a little bit right there because you don't just want your contour to abruptly stop at your eye you want to bring it in just a little more but I, I use what's left on the brush at the end to basically just feather it out right there so that it blends and it doesn't just stop do is I sort of brush it diagonally up because you don't just want that straight line right here I'm going to be doing the exact same thing I'm using little feathering motions and I'm just going right over where I put that cream contour. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the, so um, by the way, I used that light contour shade for my cheeks because I'm a really light person. And then I'm gonna be taking that um, yellow highlight from the palette, which I love. It's like a banana powder, but not really. And I'm just going to be setting underneath my eyes and I use the yellow because um, yellow gives you such a bright finish look um powder underneath the eyes and um, on the concealer is because it won't give you a white finish and that's the most important thing you put on all of these contours and stuff to restore color in your face and it's really important that you do have that color in your face and a lot of people like to go for a really really white concealer underneath the eyes which depending on how you do it can look really good but it can also look not so good so I really like the yellow powder because it keeps that color um, underneath my eyes and where that highlight is without darkening it so it's a really great way to do that what I just said <laughs> Um, I'm going to show how to do the highlight and I'm going to be using just the um, I'm just going to be using a powder highlight I have a few cream ones but just because it, this powder highlight does the trick I'm just going to this is a shimmer highlight shade from that same palette and I'm using that same brush that came with it because I need to get a fan brush um, I just haven't gotten one yet and this works really well for that too because it distributes the product right on how I like it and basically what I do is I just do these little tiny padding motions you want to put this like since I have this wing on right now I'm literally putting it just a, a few in few I'd say like an okay a few like half an inch underneath that wing right on you should be able to feel the high point of your cheekbone literally right on that and a little bit on top and then when you turn and the light hits you it will lift your cheekbones a lot and that's what you want it to do just like how the contour brings it in you want the highlight to bring it out and i'm dragging that on the center of my nose here because that gives you a little more of a dewy finish it's beautiful right on top of the cupid's bow and on the chin that is how you contour and highlight thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that this video helped you and um just another reminder just practice 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 i promise it makes all the difference and you will see that your contour and highlight will just get expand exponentially woo big word exponentially better right there and um I hope that you guys learned a lot from me and remember to like, enjoy, and of course subscribe. So bye guys.